Hey everybody, it's me again, Moody Boo, and I'm back with a review from the house of Lalabo, and this is Labdenum 18. Now this one, excuse me, this one I had a uh, decant of, and actually I put it away. I didn't even really, I kind of smelled it once or twice, and I thought, nah, I don't think I'm really into that. And really didn't think again about it until I was cleaning out a bunch of my decants and um, my samples. Came across and I thought, you know, I'll just give it away. And then I thought, well, I'll try it one more time. So I put it on and fell in love with it. It's amazing how your nose can change and evolve um, as more experiences and more time passes. Uh, perfumes, that's why I'm, I've really gotten... Uh, really held back on selling a bunch of the perfumes that I'm not really into because I notice if I go back to them a year or two later and I store them in a cool dark place and all that so they'll last indefinitely but <clears throat> if I go back to them and and check them out later on there's about 10 percent of them that I actually start to like and and some of them I love and this was one of them I didn't care for it at first but then I re-explored my decant and went through that decant and had to get a bottle a slab to 18 this I actually think you could use year-round uh, for a variety of settings I think it's a very uh, versatile kind of a perfume very unisex in fact a lot of women I think will think it's uh, Kind of interpreted as being a little masculine i do not it is a heavy animalic it is what i interpret a lot of people say it smells like musk ravager and that's true to an extent um the top notes do not smell like musk ravagers top notes you know it doesn't have the clove in it the heavy clove like muskrav does um, instead, it has more citrus, a citrusy opening, and it is very bright, and it's much more optimistic and easier to wear and tolerate at the top notes than muskrab is, for me anyway, even though I don't mind the opening of muskrab. But it's those mid-notes that really uh, smell like muskravageur. The animalic notes, the sweet animalic notes, really lends itself a lot to muskrab. But then once you get the deep dry down, again, it, it splits off from Musk Ravageur again and becomes very sweet, slightly spicy, kind of an ambery perfume. It has many transitions and evolutions um, throughout the course of a wearing. <clears throat> um, it's kind of moderate on its longevity and its projection. It's not heavy duty for me by any means, like Rose 31. Rose 31 is a beast on me. Um, and then I also have Bergamot, and it's a little lighter than the Labdenum. So Labdenum kind of is right in the middle of the La Labo as far as performance goes. And compared to other niche perfumes, it's, it's moderate. It's about a foot out for the first hour or so, and then it kind of comes close, and it becomes much more of an intimate type of perfume <clears throat> I think this would be great in fact my husband loves it for um, <laughs> well need I say more he loves it and um, I think it would be fine for uh, formal work settings but I don't think your everyday kind of work environment daytime environment is real appropriate for it but whatever floats your boat <clears throat> and um, I think it's more for nighttime because it is so animalic and that can put some people off. So for me, I only wear it at night. And I think a variety of settings in that. Clubbing, absolutely. Uh, intimate dinners, you bet. And business meetings at night, absolutely as well. Um, again, I wouldn't wear it to work out or too many daytime functions if they're real casual because I think it's much more formal formal than that. <clears throat> um, it was launched in 2006 and it features labdanum, castoreum, civet, musk, vanilla, birch, resins, cinnamon, patchouli, and balsam and tonka bean. And I know none of that said anything about amber, but I, it's a definite amber cord that I get from this perfume in the deep dry down. 
it's <clears throat> again it's kind of citrusy with a slight animalic when you first spray it then um, it becomes musk ravager very close to it uh, but a little more wearable version of musk rav in the med notes for you know a good portion of the wearing so probably four or five hours and then the end the last few hours is all about sweet slightly spicy amber to me it is a beautiful beautiful perfume oh my god it's so good <laughs> I wasn't a huge Musk Rav fan, um, only because the performance I thought was really shitty. Uh, for being a niche perfume at that price, Musk Ravageur, I think, was really poor performance. I only got about six hours out of it, and that pissed me off. But the Labdenum, this one, it will easily last me eight to ten. <clears throat> no problem. So, um, and everybody, a lot of people, well, the majority of the people said anywhere from moderate to very long lasting. And uh, uh, moderate to enormous is most of the votes as well. And for me, it's moderate, but it's beautiful. And besides Musk Ravager, uh, some people also say that it smells like Eau de Parfum by Helmut Lang for women. I'll have to check that out because if it does... I might have to get me a sniff on that one. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm just doing a quickie review. I My life has been insane, just to give you a little update. Um, I had a, a death in my family, um, my extended family. Um, somebody I was very, very close to passed away recently. Um, I had another health scare for somebody that I'm even closer to that I worship and my grandson and my son are living with us and things are kind of crazy at work as well <clears throat> and we're trying to get ready to go to Hawaii we have booked Hawaii for October so I just have not had the time to be able to um, you know do the reviews and and on my perfume makes sense PMS Facebook group I have not been a very good participant in that and I completely apologize um, I just uh, right now life has kind of taken over and you know hobbies and passions of mine have to go on the back burner for a little while but I'm trying to keep up enough to where people don't feel too disappointed in my absence I'm I'm trying to film a when I have time a few videos so that I can post them over the course of a few weeks and and you know try to keep people interested even though I can't say they were interested to begin with <laughs> but anyway whatever it's uh, it is what it is and I'm very scatterbrained and I'm exceptionally tired and uh, um, but so again I do apologize anybody that you know I haven't been returning the comments on my videos like I should I'm kind of doing them just cyclic you know every once in a while when I've got you know an hour or so I I try to knock a bunch of them out and again please keep commenting and watching because I'm gonna try to keep posting videos but my life is going to be you know uh, chaotic for the next several months and so <clears throat> I would appreciate your patience and I appreciate everybody hanging in there um, I don't deserve the subscribers that I have and the viewings that I have so I really appreciate it and I will try to get back with more videos as soon as I possibly can all right well that was long-winded I don't know what the hell that was but um, anyway okay so and I'll be doing another video on having you guys help me pick the perfumes that I'll take to Hawaii this year because I have a bunch of new candidates I want to put in there um, a couple of the samey same ones that I always bring though will go with me I'm sure so all right. Well, I guess that's it, and I will talk at y'all later. All right. Peace.